What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Got my boy Ryan. Yo. Got my girl Abby Hello. drinking some water. And we are working on packing up some orders before we open this morning. Uh, we got everything cleaned up. Abby and I got here, oh, what, I like an hour early 11. almost? Yeah. So we got all the mess cleaned up. All the boxes that were here that were uh, from the cameras and all that got cleaned up. These five boxes back here are the, is for the collection that came in. So we're gonna be unboxing that after we close most likely. But uh, we're packing up some orders here. Somebody ordered a bunch of like Atari stuff. They made two separate orders. So if that was you, the box games you made on a separate order, they're gonna ship separately. We assume that's why you made a separate order. And then here's the most of the other order. Yeah. This looks like a normal plushie, but look inside. <laughs> what is that? What has he got in there? Is that a Pikmin? Oh no, it's a 5200 game. <laughs> oh wait, wait, there's more in there. Oh, and a 7800 game. Oh, all right. All right. He's got a good choice of food. Pokey Troller. Yeah, let's see it. Pokey Troller, right here. Yeah, we got that in. Woo! Along with all of these. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. The Dwarves, Darksiders Genesis, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, Warhammer Chaos Bane, and then from a, well, these, this was one trade, the Pokeball was with this trade, Pokemon Sword, is it Evangelion, is that how you say it? I have no idea. Um, 333, three, three. you cannot redo, uh, DVD with like a little guidebook and a slipcover thing, the expensive one, Evangelion 1.11, You Are Not Alone, two disc special edition with a slip cover. It also looks like there's two different versions. There's one that's matte like this and then one that's like shiny. I saw both when looking on eBay, so I don't know. And then Evangelion 2.22. This one doesn't have any sort of slip cover or whatever, but it's like still sealed on the top. So I don't know if he ever watched it or not. Every, you can You can see that everything's in there like that, so I'm not going to... Not gonna open it, but yeah, pretty cool. That's everything so far. Hey guys. Oh, oh. what have you got there? I got a Game Gear Mini. <laughs> Hold Mini. on, I need to zoom in. Can't, can't see it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Did you get more than one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me show you guys. So here's the box for the one you just saw. <laughs> then we got the blue one. Then we got the red one. <laughs> then we got uh, the yellow one. <laughs> and there is one last thing. The little magnifier to go with. <laughs> it's bitsy bitsy. Look at these things. They're so cool. <laughs> They're so small. They're so small. <laughs> Sis, man. How much were those? Uh, it was 200 for the whole set. They were $50 each, and I got the magnifier for free for buying the four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're expensive, but uh, if you want to get them now, it's going to be like over $300 to oh, get dang. all of them. Yeah, so. Pretty cool. I think I got an okay deal. <laughs> <laughs> we have some more trades to show you guys. Nothing too crazy in here. Men in Black, Alien Crisis, Army of Two, Army of Two, Zone of the Enders, HD Collection, Metro Last Light, Last Remnant, Duke Nukem Forever, Bullet Storm Epic Edition, Burnout Paradise, The Darkness, Gears of War 2, and Kane and Lynch Dead Men. Then, Medal of Honor, European Assault, Madden, 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 Top Gun Combat Zones, Enter the Matrix, Sims 2 Pets, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Ford Racing 3, Corvette Evolution, Ghost Recon, and Bass Strike. Then Cybermorph for the Jaguar. It's I marked it as worn because the label's like peeling up, but it's pretty cool to get a Jaguar game. A little kid traded that in. <laughs> Golf, Robocop, Robocop 2, Dr. Mario with a bunch of plastic missing, but it works. Yoshi, 10-yard fight, bases loaded 2, and Yoshi's Cookie. Then couple no label ds games here and then two n64 games wwf no mercy and nascar 99 those both came with their instruction manuals too but the the wwf one is kind of 
worn, warped. You can probably see it. And then Tack, Batman, Wreck-It Ralph, Shark Tale, PSP memory card, and Frogger. Then we have Rogue Galaxy. Uh, this one is, uh, it's manual and disc only. It's a generic case. Star Ocean, which that, I think the stuff's, yeah. that one came in with a very water damaged cover art. And so this is the case that we were going to be replacing it with. This was the original. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? <laughs> yeah. Rune Viking Lord. <laughs> uh, Enchanted Arms. This is Black Ops 2 in a steelbook. 99 Knights. San Andreas. Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2 HD Remaster. Bard's Tale. Lord of the Rings The Third Age. Uh, a lot of these have like old price tags on them. We're going to have to get those off. Aragorn's Quest. Final Fantasy 12. Final Fantasy 8. Sled Storm. Bejeweled 3 with a slipcover. Dynasty Warriors 4, Dark Cloud 2, Shining Force EXA, Dead Space, and Dark Cloud. Some decent ones towards the end. Then we have Star Wars Episode 3, American Chopper, Halo, ESPN uh, Football, Wakeboarding, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Twisted Metal 2, FIFA 99, Tomb Raider 2. A lot of them say Looney on them. <laughs> Guessing that's a last name. NFL Game Day 98. Motocross Mania, Red Asphalt, Jet Moto 2, Spec Ops Covert Assault, Fusion Frenzy 2, Rally Cross 2, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Skylander Superchargers, Dead Rising 4, Lego Dimensions, FIFA 15, Disc Only Lego Worlds, Disc Only Track Mania Turbo, and Disc Only Zoo Tycoon. So that is everything. Um, well, we also got this weird, like, switch case. Looks like Pikachu. There's a second one I think Abby wanted to keep. Is Ryan keeping that one? I don't know. I think Ryan wants this. Yeah, you're on the Pikachu. And then a couple Wii remotes. And then this weird switch PC controller. So that's everything so far. We've gotten more boxes delivered, though, so we're going to have a ton of stuff to open after we close. All right, guys, we're going to open a few packages now. We got some smaller ones in, so it won't take all day. So we can do the bigger packages after we close where is this taped at just over here so this is a purchase from another game store cool they use shopping bags from piggly wiggly <laughs> piggly wiggly <laughs> so you're gonna see some filler titles in here the reason is that we are super, super low on N64 games, and I was trying to just get literally whatever I could that was we could make some money on. So we have World Driver Championship, <laughs> <laughs> Load Runner 3D, <laughs> WrestleMania 2000. That's probably one of the better purchases from that from the N64 stuff. And then NBA Hang Time. Nice. These are not the kind of games I would usually seek out, but we need literally any N64 games right now, so can't be too picky. Ugh, this is rough. <laughs> we have Wizards and Warriors 3 for NES. Not only is the label, like, messed up and there's rips, but it's also, like, the cartridge is, like, green. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty sun-faded. All right, so we had to cut right there. Customers came in. Um, so we're going to continue on. Ryan might want this one. It is cool. We have... It's controller with the manual. And this is the Mortal Kombat 2 control pad for Super Nintendo. Very cool. Yeah. It's really cool. It's got some sort of expansion thing in the back. Oh, whoa. I don't know what that's for, but here's the paperwork oh. for it and everything. Paperwork's not in the best condition, but pretty cool controller. Never had one of these. Um, I saw it on the website. This box comes from a store called Rocket City Arcade in Huntsville. Uh, I believe it's Alabama, AL. Um, but yeah, I saw this on the website and I was like, Mortal Kombat control pad. So I looked it up on eBay and I was like, man, that's so cool. <laughs> so I got that. Didn't know it came with the instructions, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we have some Game Boy games. <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> These go with the, with the controller. These what? are three little Mortal Kombat 2 cartridges that plug into the back of the controller. What? what? Oh, it's Mortal Kombat. It's cartridge 1, 2, and 3. 
I wonder what these are for. They must have like the special moves programmed in. Mm. So like, oh, you play with this character, you put this cartridge in, you hit, I, I assume that's what it is. It says SM one, two, three, and four, probably special move one, Man, special move two. That is cool. And you select a character right up here. Ah, oh, what? Ryan really wants it now. Look, that they even really have their cool. little plastic protectors. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so I guess there's only one Game Boy game, but it's a pretty cool one. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Nice. Pretty uncommon Game Boy game. So for your you Game Boy collectors out there, you might be interested in that. So in between these two clips where we had to cut, we had an incredible trade-in. Yeah. So not only do we have all these crazy packages to open, but this trade-in just makes today's vlog insane. It's going to be a really long vlog, and it's going to be a lot of really cool stuff. So this is that crazy trade-in that we just got, guys. Uh, there were a few things that I kept for my collection. I'm not going to show you those. You'll have to wait till the next pickup video. But there is some crazy stuff in here. So loose cartridges. We have Metroid Zero Mission, Metroid Fusion, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, and Lufia The Legend Returns. And then we have some boxed games here. Uh, these do not have price tags on them yet because uh, we're out of box protectors, so these have to go into little plastic baggies, um, like this, and then the price tags go on the bag, but I wanted to film these now uh, before more customers come in, so the tags are not on them, but they are on the website if you're interested. We have Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. I'm going to try my best to get that sticker off. This is complete in pretty good condition. It's got that, and the front is a little, like, pushed in, so it kind of creates, like, a roll across the bottom and a little bit right there, but it's not bad. We have Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, also complete. The top has a little crease right there you can see, and on the left-hand side, the front's a little pushed in down here. Other than that, pretty good. Fire Emblem, also complete. It's got that little scrape on the top, that little crease right there on the front and right. And that's pretty much it. The rest is really, really nice. And then Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. This is box and cartridge only. This one has got that little crease. And other than that, it's pretty good. It's got that little kind of like indentation pen mark, whatever that is. Then for PSP, we have, I think it's Aston Astonishia Story. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Did you want that one, Ryan? No. Okay, Ryan was thinking about it, but he decided to pass. And we also have Metal Slug 7. This does not have the slipcover, and it does not have the little disc. But other than that, it's complete. Very nice condition. Dragon Quest 7. Dragon Quest 8. Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. These are all complete, by the way. Castlevania, Portrait of Ruin. Dragon Quest 9, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Dragon Quest 5. Then we have Tactics Ogre for PS1. This one, unfortunately, does not have the manual. So it's just the disc and then the, the case here. And then we also have Strikers 1945, Castlevania Chronicles, yeah, that expensive cool. game. We have Final Fantasy XII, uh, Collector's Edition in the Steelbook, in very nice condition. Makai Kingdom, Chronicles of the Sacred Tome, pretty uncommon game. Metal Slug Anthology for the Wii. Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition. It obviously does not have the outer box or the little art book, but otherwise is complete. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. And then Catherine for the play, or Xbox 360. And then Brave Story New Traveler for the PSP. This is complete as well. So, yeah. Like I said, there were a few other things that I kept for my personal collection, and so you guys will have to wait for the pickup video to see that. I will let you know there were a couple um, factory sealed games, and I think I think only one just complete in box game um, that I didn't have. It was a PlayStation Two game, um, and then uh, there was also one other. Uh, complete in box Game Boy Advance game that we already sold. <laughs> um, as we were doing this trade, a customer saw them and he's like, oh, how much is that? And I was like, well, it still belongs to that guy. <laughs> but if you want to stick around, assuming we make the deal, it'll be for sale. And so he did. And he ended up purchasing a, uh, it actually, he only bought the box and manual and I'm keeping the cartridge to complete my box. It worked out great because the guy, the guy who wanted it, he already had the cartridge. 
And that was Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. Yeah. So he asked if it was complete, and I had I was already planning on keeping the cartridge, So I, but I said yes because, you know, the other guy was standing there. I didn't want him to be like, what do you mean? It is complete. So I told him yes, and if he wanted it, I was going to sell him everything. But I told him... I told him my plan. I was like, I was like, I was actually going to keep the cartridge and just sell it box and manual, but you can have it if you want it. And he's like, oh, well, I already have a cartridge. Yeah. <laughs> I just need the box and manual. And I was like, oh, well, that's perfect. So <laughs> he bought the box and manual and I got to keep the cartridge, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. So he was really happy. Yeah, he, he said he was really into Fire Emblem and that was the last Fire Emblem game that he did not have complete in box. Yeah. So cool. he just had it cartridge only. So... Yeah. That worked out perfectly. So, Ryan, are you ready to open up some packages? Uh, I, I guess so. I've got, I've There's got, two little ones. Got some right over here. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Okay. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> it's in a mailer. It's probably fine. <laughs> Maybe. Got this foreign newspaper. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, got a Turbo Graphics game. It's Blazing Lasers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Looking pretty good. Let's look inside this. Ooh, it's got its little sleepy. Ooh yeah. Nice. That was an eBay purchase. That is very cool. Oh boy. Yep. We we almost lost some games right there. Yep. While Ryan's opening that. There was all this stuff was stacked up on top and Ryan accidentally bumped it and it fell into this and it did this. <laughs> but we're all good. Luckily the box hurt its fall. Or, yeah. Okay. Another single game. But it's an expensive one. This is another eBay purchase. Got really lucky. Sam sent me the listing for this. Can you tell from the back upside down? Tales of Destiny. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's like a $200 game. Nice. Got really, really lucky with that one. Like I said, my friend Sam sent me the listing. It was $125 shipped. Got super lucky. It was, of course, a newly listed. Put foam in there. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you go ahead and leave that foam in there? Because I'm sure we're going to need to be shipping that one. <laughs> that needs to be resurfaced. Oh, does it? Yeah, it does. But it's not too bad. I've seen worse. Oh, that looks really freaking bad. <laughs> I've seen worse. I mean, it doesn't look like a bunch of deep scratches. It's not deep, but yeah, it's scratched it's all really over. scratched. So we'll run that through. Top but it'll nice. be all right. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are closed now. Yeah. Ryan and I have the camera set up here on the little grid wall thing so that we can both open these packages because yeah. there's a lot of stuff to go through. So first, we're going to start off with this box, which came from Japan. Ooh. I believe this is another fancy. eBay purchase. It's very fancy. Don't need my masks anymore. Come on. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that works. Everything's going to be okay. Ooh. Ooh. What? Oh, that's cool. They what? threw They threw in these petite blocks. That's so cool. They're like miniature Legos. What? They threw them in for free. Where's mine? Here's a Lego box. But I doubt it has Legos in it. Yeah, I don't think so. What is this? Man, you're getting all the cool free stuff. It gave stuff. us a card. I want to show the little case. <laughs> See the little case that it came with? <laughs> with a handwritten note. Yeah. Thank you for your purchase. The enclosed item is a heartfelt thank you. Jap Japanori. Hmm. I think is who it says it's from. We have a Japanese peach box. <laughs> oh. You see the peach? Whoa, whoa, okay, there's stuff in there. So I think this is... Man, I like the cover of that. I don't think this was in, this was supposed to be included. I think this is just something that they threw in for free. You want those Lego things? Yeah. 
Oh, he loves these. You can have them. <laughs> Why do the Japanese sellers have to be so awesome and like pack everything yeah. super well, give you free gifts, write hand handwritten thank you notes? Yeah, American oh, okay. sellers suck. This is, <laughs> no. this is part of the bundle. We have a yellow N64 controller. Joystick could use a replacement, but honestly, maybe not. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let's turn this a little bit more your way so I can see it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, guys. This is right. for the store. We have a boxed oh. Japanese Nintendo 64 console. Oh. It looks so cool. And if you guys don't know, these do not come with any cardboard on the bottom. They just have the styrofoam. Oh, that's cool. Most of the Japanese boxes are like that. Okay, this did not come in here originally. So inside, we have Diddy Kong Racing. Nice. Japanese, of course. Um, everything else is wrapped up in here so nicely, too. AV cord. So we got the great controller. Oh, all the stuff with a memory card. There's Ooh. no label. It's official. Official memory card. That's cool. All right. So regular jumper pack in it. So the box looks like this little corner came undone, which could be glued. It's not really a big deal. But yeah, pretty cool little setup. Very I already nice. have one of these in my personal collection. I bought this specifically for the store because Ooh. it also came with a bunch of games here. Oh, really? So you saw the Diddy Kong Racing. They call them cassettes. I like that. That is cool. And then they came with the extra yellow controller. Sorry, guys. This is all for me. No, I'm just, I'm just messing. <laughs> for the games, we have... Uh, I, I don't know what it is. It's something, something J-League, some sort of soccer game pretty sure that's like a japanese exclusive i think all the j league ones are japanese exclusive we have mystical ninja or some some other mystical ninja game i don't know if they got any japanese exclusives and we have bomberman anytime we get japanese n64 games they always sell right away so when I saw this listing posted with an extra controller and all these games, it was pretty cheap. And I was like, I got to get that. F-Zero X. Plus, I just like having cool stuff in the store. I want to do that. Um, is this Sailor Moon? Ooh. Oh, wait. No. What is it? I don't know. Don't know what that is? Ryan says it's not Sailor Moon. Yeah, no. <laughs> Last but not least... Mario Kart 65. Awesome. All right, so that, I believe, was the only package we had left that was not part of this big collection. So I'm just going to throw this all this pack down here. We'll clean up after we open everything. Let's get this out of the way. Don't forget, oh, okay. don't forget your little Lego things. Oh, I won't. And then we're going to get to the big collection. We have five boxes. Four of them are about this size. One of them is like a long skinny box. Not really sure what it, which is in which box. So we're just going to start with this one. Yeah. So these came all the way from Pennsylvania. And where's the... This on the side. What's the first name? Francis. Francis. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. So... Um, I don't know if this is his entire collection or if this is just stuff that he's getting rid of now, but. I think these might be like wrapped around the box. Dang. The box. This is packed really well. Yeah, I thought, this is nice. I'm pretty sure he took these to UPS to have them package it. And I was kind of nervous about that because I was like, I know that they package stuff well, but I didn't know if they would take care with like you know, fragile game cases or whatever. But it looks like they packed it pretty well. Well, first off, we got two Master System controllers, just the plain, here, I'll pull out one so you can at least see oh one. Gosh. Just the plain Master System controllers. 
the tank. Also, black GameCube controller. Everything's like in these bags. <laughs> That's everything out of that box? Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really don't like how they did this, but <laughs> it was packed really well inside, but it's not great to unbox it. So Ryan showed me the controllers. I guess we'll just go with the first first little thing here. We have Last Battle for the Genesis. Let's start pulling stuff out. Dark Cavern for the Intellivision and Star Wars Empire Strikes Back for the 2600. All right. For the Sega CD, I have Dracula Unleashed. Can you see that? It's too shiny. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> also, Bram Strokers, or Stokers. We'll, <laughs> we'll call them Strokers. Um, Dracula. Two Dracula games. We're going to save this. Still have the foam in that one. Let's check the Dracula Unleashed. This first little bag here had like some of the best stuff in the whole bundle, so I'm trying to set some aside to save for towards the end. <laughs> Didn't expect to get the to get this stuff like right out of the first thing. Okay, so we have for the Sega Saturn Panzer Dragoon, Thunder Strike. Alien Trilogy. This one is already spoken for. We we sent a package to someone that uh, they purchased this game and a couple others, and it looks like the package got stolen um, after it was delivered, unfortunately. So uh, this was one of the games they had purchased, mm -hmm. so that one is on hold for them as a replacement. Also got Sega Rally Championship. These looks, all these cases are in good condition, too. It looks like it was cut, like the... Oh, weird. Yeah, so the Wait, manual... no. I don't know if it was cut or... What the heck? That looks weird, but yeah. Yeah, it's cut. Okay, yeah. The manual was cut right here and right here. You can probably see it. And it was, like, taped. You can yeah, kind of see the tape. Together. That's super weird. It looks like they were going to put it in, like, a jewel case, and then they decided not to. I don't know. Yeah. Weird. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Tomb Raider. And Magic Carpet. Ooh, I like this one. Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah. Space Hulk. And I will tell you guys that there, there are some things in here that I am going to be keeping for my personal collection. I do not know exactly what they all are yet. I only know of like two games off the top of my head. The other ones, I just have to see them go through them. So. All right. Got WWF Rage Cage. Defcon 5 for the Saturn. Oh, yeah. Bug! <laughs> I see the exclamation point, so I had to say it loud. Sorry. <laughs> so, and yeah. Scorcher. This one just came into the store pretty recently, and I kept that one for my collection, so now we have a second one. It's kind of like a random mix in each bag, almost. Yeah. Second little bag. We have... Star Wars Jedi Arena for the 2600. We also have Astro Blast for the 2600. Is that 2600? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think that yeah. Dark Cavern was also 2600 then. Yeah. I might have said in television. For the GameCube, we have Pikmin and Resident Evil Zero. Just to show that they're actually in there. <laughs> Not going to open up every single one, but there you go. Yeah. Got The Thing. For PlayStation 2. Chronicles of Riddick for Xbox and a sealed copy of NBA 2003 Inside Drive. Yeah. State of Emergency. Good game. PlayStation 2. These are all really clean, too. Yeah, everything's pretty clean and in pretty darn good condition, too. This one, I think, is also sealed. It doesn't have the outer seal, but it has that seal, and that's the Sega GT Jet Set Radio mm. combo. Nice. That's, like, fully intact. Um, and I believe this was a pack-in, so maybe this is how it came. Yeah, uh, probably. Pretty I cool. So. <laughs> also got Mortal Kombat Armageddon and Orphan for PlayStation 2. God of War 2, 
Hunter the Reckoning, Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance. Heroes of Might and Magic. <laughs> yeah. We're going to need to speed this up a little <laughs> bit, I think. Guilty Gear X, Dark Cloud 1, and Contra, Shattered Soldier. Madden 02, or 2002, whatever you want to say. And then Mark of Cree and Metal Gear Solid 2. And then a couple PlayStation demos. I usually give those to Ryan. <laughs> Eternal Champions <laughs> for the Genesis. Uh, He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Mortal Kombat Deception. Devil May Cry 2. Oni. Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. Super Smash Brothers for the GameCube. And Guitar Hero 3. Mm. PS2. The guitar here does not have a manual. Alien Storm for Genesis. Onslaught for Genesis, which I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that I needed. And one of my childhood favorites, Golden Axe for the Genesis. One of the best games you can get. You should have this in your collection if you have any Genesis games. And we have Demon Stone and Shadow of the Colossus. Got Ico and Summoner. I think that's what that says. Got those two. I think they're both complete. And I guess we don't need to talk about that. We have Mortal Kombat Deception Premium Pack. This one is factory sealed, but the disc is loose inside. Um, I know the trick to, to get it back on the little spindle, so I'm going to try that later. Not right now. All right, got Spider-Man and The Bouncer. That one looks pretty cool. I might want that one. Sorry. <laughs> we have Max Payne, Tech and Tag Tournament, but this one, the plastic for the case is missing, so there's clear tape all the way across no. the front and the back. No. <laughs> we might have a case for that. Got Halo Combat Evolved, The Warriors, both for original Xbox and for 360. Got Rage. I'm gonna start getting that one undone. Yep. We have Capcom vs. SNK2 for PS2. Extermination, Blood Omen 2, Ring of Red, fairly uncommon game, and then Devil May Cry and Lord of the Rings 2 Towers. Got a video touchpad for what is that? Oh, for the Atari. That was ColecoVision. Got Far <laughs> uh, Frogger for the Atari. Were you going to say Far Cry? I was going to say Farter. <laughs> Got <laughs> Bugs. Eh, remember that? Yeah, no. Okay. Star Voyager. All for the 360, I'm pretty sure. Then we have Grand Theft Auto 3, Onimusha, Guitar, uh, God of War, Prince of Persia 2 Thrones, Resident Evil Code Veronica, Zone of the Enders, and Red Faction. For Sega CD, got Jurassic Park. Yeah. And Eternal Champions. Nice. And then Mr. Bones. That's one of the ones that I needed. Virtua Fighter 2. Solar Eclipse and Gen War for Saturn. Sega Touring Car Championship. <laughs> and that's the end of the first box. That's, yeah, that's box one. We have four <laughs> more boxes to go. <laughs> All right. Did we bury the... The, knife. Oh, the box cutter. Yeah, I got it. And I'm making a little stack over here of games that we're going to save for the end. So all the really, really good stuff we'll show you guys at the end. Yeah. But there's good stuff throughout. You've already seen Eternal Champion or Eternal Darkness and Smash Bros and Pikmin and some other good stuff. Obviously, all the Sega CD and Sega Saturn games are pretty cool. It's packed in the same way. Yeah, I guess it's just how they do it. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, what? This cardboard comes right out. It's not real. That one's not even in a bag. This looks like a bunch of controllers and accessories and... Oh, there's some games in here, too. What the heck? There's some PC oh. controllers. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> oh. 
There's, There's so much stuff. Another bag. Whole bag right here. You got it? Oh, there's another bag underneath that bag. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Who's brave enough to look in this bag? Comment okay. down below if you know where that's from. Yeah. There's three bags on the floor, too. <laughs> All right, so first off, got a third-party original PlayStation controller. It's a PC controller, which I don't know. We're going to do that with that. Yeah. Xbox controller. Original Genesis couple six button <laughs> genesis controllers one of these memory card adapters for the xbox and this is a brand new duke controller the bag is uh taped up still sealed right here that's pretty cool out of a system box and then that one oh yeah got a what would you call it you know what it's called an assy pad <laughs> so uh Assy Pad FT fighting type. It even has like Street the, Fighter characters on the front. For I don't the know Dreamcast? If you can see that. Uh, That's yes. really cool. Yeah, for the Dreamcast. It's pretty cool. We have a bunch of these weird little like adapters, possibly memory card type things. Oh, there's also a PlayStation oh, cool. code card. A VMU and this little PlayStation. Card that's and caps. some other memory cards, PS1, PS2, and GameCube. Shove those in there. And then we have a crap ton of Atari <laughs> games. <laughs> Start grabbing them out. All right. Breakout. Crystal Castles and Gorf. Oh, that's cool. Frogger 2. Three I don't, deep. I don't that's know, cool. like, I don't know Atari stuff off the top of my head, so... If there's anything really, really special in here, yeah. tell us in the comments. Yeah, I've we'll never figure seen it out. This. We'll figure it out once we start entering them into mm -hmm. the system. Yeah, I've never seen that. <laughs> I've also never seen Crystal Castles. I have seen that one before. Got Carnival. Pac-Man and his wife. Video Pinball. Dodge them. Uh, no Label one. And Star Raiders. What do you oh. do with the tax people? This is, this is probably Dodger. the No Raider one. <laughs> this is probably the No Label one. Amadar. Video Checkers. Millipede. Demons to Diamonds. Sword Quest Earthworld and Superman. Star Master. Uh, Berserk and Grand Prix. Six Telegames, Action Racing, Varied Hurdles, and Three Skill... Eight Telegames Memory Match. I don't think I've ever seen that one. It's like purple on the bottom half. That's weird. Sky Diver. Asteroids. Oh, here's a rare one. E.T. for the Atari. Flag Capture and Battle Zone. Take them off. Bowling. Yeah, you should. That's cool. I've never seen this game. Yeah. Warp Lock. Not this Warlock, Warp Lock. This one also looks cool. Kangaroo. Just, just kangaroo. <laughs> then there's a couple little end labels in the bag here. Miniature golf. Hunt and score. This looks like a bunch of demo discs. Yay. There's a Legend of Lagaya one. There's a sealed PlayStation, or not sealed, PlayStation one. There's a Namco one. Pitfall 3D. That's a cool one. The Square Collectors. Uh, PlayStation 2 Underground Holiday, PlayStation Magazine, PlayStation, some other PlayStation and Xbox Magazine ones. Alright. Got some demos. Got 38 for the PlayStation and 46, number 46 and 47 and 13. I got a... Actually, I have this demo disc, so if someone's interested, uh, contact most. Who? Well, most demos, we usually just price out at a dollar and they go into the bulk category so they're not yeah. going to be on the website they're like in store only if there's anything special we'll price it out separately got 15 and 32 and an official playstation magazine one and then some japanese dreamcast games we have marvel versus capcom clash of superheroes blue stinger this is street fighter zero three and then uh, north american dead or alive two I think um, we might have a little bit of an issue. Um, we have not paid for this stuff yet. We were paying after it arrives. I was under the impression that these were North American games. 
Mm. So I'm not sure what the price difference is. Well, we might have to figure that out. Um, to be fair, though, there is some stuff included that, like, I wasn't really told. Like, I didn't know all the demos were in there. Some of the controllers and stuff, um, you know, we didn't have, like, an itemized list. It was just, like, here's all the games and the systems, and then I have a bunch of controllers to go with it and random accessories. So it, it'll probably even out, but we'll just have to figure it out. Yeah. Got Chopper Command and Laser Blast. Go for Atari. And then some more demos, PlayStation 1s. And then a disc-only Mortal Kombat 3 for PS1. That one's in a Vandal Heart. Oh. That's kind of cool. That one's in half of a Vandal Hearts case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Japanese X-Men vs. Street Fighter for PlayStation 1. And then for PS1 North American, we have Tomb Raider, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, and Marvel Super Heroes. It's a pretty good one. Got Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. Feels like it's in... Oh, no, it's got the main one. And a bunch of NES games. Soccer, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and Kid Nicky. And I've got Gyro Mike, Bayou Billy, and Blades of Steel. And we have Stinger, Iron Swords, Wizards and Warriors 2, and Strider. Got Kid Icarus. A Boy in His Blob. Quantum Fighter. These are, all, these are all really nice quality NES games. Like, the stickers are really nice. And then we have a bunch of black box games right here. Nice. We have two copies of Duck Hunt, Gumshoe, Baseball, and Super Mario Bros. And I've got... Ooh, that's a cool one. Renegade for the NES. Who Friend Roger Rabbit. Faster, faster, Got Ryan. DuckTales. Cobra Command. Amagon. Is that what that says? Yep. Mario 2. Superman. Don't see that one very often. Ninja Gaiden. Adventures of Dino Riki. The Battle of Olympus. That looks cool. Silk Warm. Sick Warm. Silk Warm. Dick Tracy. Arkanoid and Mega Man 2. Uh, Faxanadu. Faxanadu. And Dr. Chaos. Yeah. And then more Atari games. Oh, Dr. Chaos looks cool. Ooh, there's, some, there's some other stuff in here too. Yeah. Some Odyssey. Is this all? Cosmic Arc, G.I. Joe, Cobra Strike. Space Attack, and Spider-Man. All right. Ugh, for, for the Odyssey 2, we have 2076 Star Command. Odyssey 2. Uh, There's Master System, Ryan. Speedway Spinout, Crypto Logic. Monkey Shines. <laughs> and War of Nerves. So round for the 2600, then for 5200, we have Qbert, Dig Dug, Pac-Man, Joust, and Space Dungeon. I've never seen that one. And then Super Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo. I've got Kensaiden for the Master System. Same with Choplifter and Alex Kidd in the Lost Stars for Lost the Lost Stars. Do you have those three? I do have all those, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Couple loose turbo games. We have JJ and Jeff and Side Arms. They're in the little protectors, but they're both really sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like that. We've got a couple Xbox demo discs and a Dragon Lair Dragon's Lair DVD, DVD game. Which I think oh shoot. Well, it's still a game. Yeah, you can uh I'm pretty sure you can play it still on, like, a PlayStation 2 because it plays DVDs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so down here it says, you can play on the PlayStation 2. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We have Streets of Rage for the Genesis, Ghouls and Ghosts, and Valis 3. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Are we on to the next? Oh, we have two more bags. 
Ooh, this looks like a good one. Let's do this stuff. Okay. Four <laughs> Atari games. Yeah. Dump them out. You know the Atari games are what Cooper's really excited for, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hangman and Telegames 3 Blackjack. Got Centipede. Whoa. I almost dropped it. <laughs> Football and Sword Quest Fireworld. Vanguard. Air Sea Battle. Tennis and a game I've never seen, Survival Run. Popeye. Yeah, good, 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 good. <laughs> Brain Games and Baseball. Will blow me down. Crawl. <laughs> Skiing. <laughs> Warlords. Now it looks like we have some Super Famicom stuff. And yeah. one Genesis game. <laughs> one Genesis game. John Madden football. <laughs> and then these are all Super Famicom. So we have cool. Dead Dance complete. And, well, I'm assuming complete. Dead Dance, Dragon Quest 1 and 2, Dragon Ball Z 2. Turtles in Time, Battle Blaze, Street Fighter 2, and Tiny Toon Adventures. That's cool stuff. Yeah, it is. Next box. All right. Let's do it that way. Try not to show any addresses up in here. Yeah, I don't think I got any on the camera. Right? You guys see it? No. Okay, good. This stuff's bubble wrapped. No, oh, man, it's gonna take so long. <laughs> okay, here's an Xbox screen. I'm not gonna open that. I'm just gonna, Ooh. just gonna stack it on the ground. This one's cool. What is it? I can't even tell. I think it's a system. The packing material smells so weird. <laughs> it doesn't smell bad. Yeah. This is definitely a console. And it's a cool one. One that we have not had in for a while. Yeah. That's why I handed it to him. Pretty sure Sam really, really wants this. He's been looking for one. It's a TurboGrafx-16. Nice. So pro Sam's probably going to be buying that. Ugh. And then what else is in here, though? There's a there's an AV switch in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, just a just an AV switcher. Oh, <laughs> there's games on this one. Yeah. We're already at like 30 minutes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's taking so long. I'm Sorry, Ryan's so being long. so loud right now. <laughs> yeah, can you even hear me? Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, this oh, is cool. Man. Oh my gosh, this is cool. <laughs> this, this this is kind of disappointing because I, I thought that these were all going to be North American games. Um, these are more Dreamcast. This is this unfortunately really affects the price, I think, because some of the games in here were supposed to be the most expensive games out of the bundle. We have Power Stone 1 and 2, but they're Japanese. Mm. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Japanese. And this is Biohazard 2 Value Plus. That's pretty cool. Should we show them? And a loose Monkey Island for Sega CD. All right, I'm going to show you guys. I'm guessing there's one inside here, but it's a Sega Saturn carrying bag. <laughs> this is so cool. I want this bag. It's <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Let's check what's inside just to make sure. Man, I'm so sad about that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because I was like... I was like, oh, awesome. I've, I got that game for, my, for our collection already. And we never get, like, really, really good Dreamcast stuff in. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's going to be awesome. Someone's going to someone's gonna be real excited yeah. about that one. Yeah. I'm sure somebody still will, but... Yeah. I just wish it was a North American one. Got some cords for the Saturn. 
We have a couple NES controllers and a little converter in here. And in the side pocket, we had Christmas Nights Into Dreams. Ooh, Christmas Nights. I'm probably keeping that one. Virtua Fighter Remix. There's There most likely is enough stuff in here to make up for those games being Japanese. Um, just won't really know until we go through everything, of course. <laughs> Sega Screams Volume 1. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> Here's the Resident Evil 4 Special GameStop Edition for the GameCube. That's pretty cool. Is this music? Like, what is this? It's got all the stuff in there. That Virtua Feeling Sub Pop and Sega Get Together. <laughs> That's cool. Sega Saturn Choice Cuts. And I'd Custom rather have killer Web cuts. Browser. It's just a custom web browser. Version 3. I'm sure Coop's gonna keep all of these. No, I'm just messing. <laughs> this is just a zapper gun in this one. I'm just gonna tuck those back in there. And this is some controller, but I can't can't tell what it is. We also have a Sega Saturn backup. And we have another Sega Saturn backup in a little baggie. This is a Super Nintendo third-party controller. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. And we have a Sega Saturn Netlink for going on the interwebs, I guess, with your Saturn. There's such a huge pile of, like, it. tape and boxes and bubble wrap over here. See that? Isn't it? Isn't it on, cool. the, on the Sega Saturn? That's the only way I use the internet, Ryan. Why do you think it takes so long to upload my YouTube videos? <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> We have a console bundle in here. This is a pretty cool one. All right. So there is a Saturn in here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to take it out just for time <laughs> reasons, but there's like some controllers. There's like three controllers that I can see. There's a little... I think that's on the Netlink adapter. Yeah, Netlink adapter for a keyboard. We also have a Genesis Model 1 and Sega CD Model 1. I'm sure the cables are in here somewhere. Ooh, that's cool. ST key for Sega Saturn. I don't even know what that is. Um, Kevin is going to want that. <laughs> it allows you to play, like, imports and stuff. Yeah. Among whatever else it does. Oh, there are tacks in here. There's, like, seven tacks. The bottom, you see that? There's a bunch of thumbtacks in the bag. <laughs> one of those UFO looking control pads. Yeah. That's for knights. Okay. All right. I think that's enough of the set. Okay. Couple, couple more Odyssey games in this one. Maybe not. I've also got manuals. I'm just going to show them to you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Want to show these? Sure. I want this <laughs> Those are Odyssey 2 games. Oh, whoa. All right. Got Wall Street Fortune Hunt for the Odyssey 2. I'm just going to see that. It's pretty cool. I think I have both of those at home. Nice. Cool. They did a couple of those like big box ones. We got the quest for the rings. In other words, the Hobbit. No, I'm just messing. <laughs> <laughs> There's some more Odyssey 2 games in this bag if I could get it open. <laughs> there you go. We have Pachinko and Casey Munchkin. Oh, yeah. And. We have Yars Revenge and Donkey Kong Jr. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Oh, yeah. Donkey Kong Jr. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm going to flip on this stuff. <laughs> Got a pretty clean GameCube. Looks pretty nice. I think that's everything from that box. Cool. All right. On to the next. On to the next box. Next package. I need to clear some room, though. Yeah. There's too much stuff. I just don't want to show anything. Okay. 
There's gonna be a lot more games, so we need to clear some more room. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and start opening that up while I clear some room. All right. surprised that they packed it so well yeah it's a good thing yay Ooh, i see more master system i see more sega saturn yay and more atari <laughs> and more super famicom <laughs> give me that oh, oh my god there's so much in that bag <laughs> Got a dual shock PlayStation 1 controller. Oh my god. Pretty dirty. This one's heavy. It's gonna take two hands, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, got freeway. Maze craze. Oh, these are Atari, by the way. Stampede, some Super Famicom game. <gasps> Ooh, Ranma. Ranma. Ranma, Ranma one half. Oh my God, that's mine. Sorry guys. <laughs> this is Ranma one half. <laughs> ah, no, they're both Ranma one half, and I need them both. <laughs> the Battle of Destiny and Contra. Cool, cool. Not as cool as the Ranma. <laughs> Contra is not as cool. I was just telling Abby about Ranma the other day. <laughs> Man. What a cool thing. All right, we have oh, Panzer Dragoon 2 for the Satin. Need for Speed. Popeye for the 5200. That's pretty cool. Pandemonium. Pitfall for the 2600. Resident Evil for the Saturn. And PGA Tour 97. <laughs> Pac Man. <laughs> Baseball, Dragon Fire, Kaboom, and Gunslinger and Target Shot. That's and more Odyssey 2 as well. Got Alien Invaders Plus and UFO. And then for Saturn, we have Sim City 2000, Command and Conquer. This is one of the games I know that I needed. Skeleton Warriors for the Saturn. And then we have Amok and Gun Griffin. Uh, for the Genesis, I have uh, Tommy... Wait. Tommy Lasorda? Yeah, Tommy Lasorda Baseball. Got Strider for the Genesis as well. Got... Uh, wait... Sulfice. Sulfice. I don't know. Sulfice. Sulfice. It's for the Sega CD. We have some more demos and a web browser. For the Game Boy Color, got Turok 2. It looks actually very nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And a very nice, complete Ogre Battle Limited Edition for PlayStation 1. Nice. That one's really cool. <laughs> Whoa. I have that thing at home. Heck? It's like a weird double disc. It's a bunch of different thing. things all together. <laughs> Hot hits. Batman and Gunsmoke for NES. Got Bad Dudes. Legendary Wings and Top Secret Episode, Golgo 13. Another Bayou Billy. Blaster Master and Gauntlet 2. Simon's Quest and Double Dragon. Ooh. Castlevania. Ninja Turtles. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> we have Sherlock Holmes for the Sega CD. I don't I'm know. gonna do these ones. I know I knew you'd like one. to. <laughs> Ooh, that's, these, these cool. Turbo Graphics games. We have Splatterhouse. Bonk's Adventure. Keith Courage and Alpha Zones, another box adventure, 
China Warrior, TV Sports Football, Bonk's Revenge, and Legendary Axe 2 with no manual. Oh, that's actually Bloody Wolf in a Legendary Axe case. <laughs> ah, all right. Got Parasite Eve for PlayStation 1. Got Final Fantasy 8. Resident Evil 2. Good game. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. All the other Turbo games are the correct ones in the cases. Guilty Gear. That's cool. That's a good one. Volume 1 Jam Pack. 12 playable demos. Here's a bunch of other PlayStation demos. Yay! <laughs> and then we have... We also got Underground. Nights into Dreams for the Saturn. And also the custom web browser for the Netlink. Another demo. And then Wild Arms. Some more demos. Uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Kane for PS1. And Night Trap for the Sega CD discs only. And some more demos. Japanese Dino Crisis for PlayStation 1. And then The Adventures of Willy Beamish Loose for the Sega CD. Uh, any of these you want to say? You can do them. Okay. Shining Force 3. Oh, man. This is another one. I thought that it was the North American one. Damn. There's another Shining Force 3. Dang. Grandia. And then Biohazard 3, Last Escape. But this is a printed printed artwork. And then, I guess, sealed copies of Virtual On, Netlink Edition, and Sega Rally Championship, Netlink Edition. Do we still have to do those down there? Wait. You show the next stuff. I need to look this up real quick. All right. I'm going to show my favorite stuff. The Master System. All right. So I got Black Belt. I'm going to let you know. Black Belt is complete. Got Pro Wrestling. Complete. Hang On and Astro Warrior. Complete. I don't know if these are uh, expensive games or not, but I'm going to do them anyways. <laughs> okay, before you do that, the um, I wanted to look this one up because I, th I th the Netlink something tipped me off. This is expensive, but it's not the one I thought it was, so it's not... This is like a couple hundred bucks, Dang. but it's not the, the... I think it's Daytona USA Netlink is like five grand or something ridiculous. Oh, I was like, I don't think this is it, but let me double check. <laughs> let me see what you have there. You can show this. Okay. <laughs> Got Enemy Zero for the Saturn. Power Slave. Power Slave's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I think I've heard of that one before. Blazing Heroes. Shockwave Assault. We have Mansion of Hidden Souls, Ground Zero Texas, and Heart of the Alien for Sega CD. Got Quake. That's cool. Robotica. And Hexen. This is one other one that I know we we're going to be keeping. Clockwork Night 2. And we have Battle Arena Toshinden re Remix. Mech Warrior 2, Dragon's Lair for the Sega CD, They for Sega CD, Virtual On, Wipeout, and Alone in the Dark. Is this the last box? Yep. All right, last box. This is the long one. You guys excited? And then we'll show you the really, really cool stuff. Yeah. What is this? What in the hell? Well, there's a Guitar Hero guitar. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what system. Is there anything? Yeah, there's more stuff. 
I was gonna say, they better not have shipped that by itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been weird. This is something right. pink or red, I can't tell yet. Is this for sure the last box? I'm pretty sure. Got one, two, three, four. Open it. Hmm. I'm gonna have to double check the list because I feel like there's stuff missing that's not here. Like um, one console in particular that I can think of. That looks like a big AV switch. Yeah. Or a power strip. Look at the power strip, but man, it's freaking huge. Look <laughs> at this thing, man. Maybe we'll find a use for it in the store or something. <laughs> Look how long this thing is. That's like, what she said. Like half my arm. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at all those plugins. Yeah. Three more Saturn games. Croc, Rayman, and Dark Savior. Is that the last thing there? Yep. Other than the uh, expensive stuff. All right, so... Let me double check while you're opening that. I feel like there was supposed to be... Another console with games. What console? Uh, let me look at it first. I don't want to... Give it away. Well, I don't want to say something if it's not true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. controller of some sort. I think it's PlayStation 1. Yeah. I don't know why it was wrapped so nice. Just a, just a normal PlayStation 1 controller. Nothing special. <laughs> okay, so there was definitely another system. There was another system, There was guys. one more system with games that wasn't in here, and it was a PlayStation 3. Yeah, um, so it's not a, not a huge deal, but there were like five or six games plus the console that was supposed to be in here. Um, so let's get on to the really, really good stuff. Yeah. Okay. This first what game. Waiting for. This first game on the top is one that uh, I am keeping. The most expensive game out of the bundle that I'm keeping. It's not the most expensive game total, but it's the most expensive one that I still need. And that for the Saturn is Burning Rangers. And then we also have Lunar, the Silver Star for the Sega CD, Shining Force 3. So you saw we had the two Japanese ones and then this one. In the, in the list of everything that I was sent, it said Shining Force 3, three copies. So I expected three of these. Um, and this is like a $300 game. So you can see why that will affect the price. <laughs> We have Shining in the Holy Ark. For Genesis, we have Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. For PlayStation 2, we have God Hand. And then for Saturn, Earthworm Jim 2. Last battle, we already showed you that, I'm pretty sure. Last two games, we have Magic Knight Ray Earth. And the Big Daddy. Panzer Dragoon Saga. Nice. So this is the third copy of this game that we have had <laughs> in like the past six months, which is crazy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's got all the discs and their little black sleeves. Looks good. Super, super cool. So obviously, huge shout out to Francis yeah. for selling us this collection. Mm, um, I'm going crazy. to... I'm going to shoot you an email um, as soon as we're done filming here um, to discuss things. Um, you know, a couple couple things that I'd like the PS3 for sure is not here unless I don't think we missed it somehow. I don't think so. Um, so we'll get that all figured out. Not a huge deal. This is still an incredible, incredible collection of really, really good stuff. As you guys saw, obviously tons of Saturn games, tons of Sega CD games, a bunch of 
uh, NES, excuse me, NES games. A little dusty on my hands. So I think this has gone on long enough, guys. <laughs> I'm going to end it right here. I was incorrect when I said this is a couple hundred bucks. That was a very quick look up on eBay. There's one posted for like 600 new, but there's a couple sold ones for like 40, 50 bucks. <laughs> so nowhere near a couple hundred. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. It is 2.09 in the morning. Um, after we unboxed everything, um, Ryan and I came back to our house and we stopped, got some burritos on the way home ate those as we watched a little bit of YouTube together. Um, Abby, her friend Christina, and Jess actually went um, and saw a movie. Um, there's a movie theater not in the Portland area, but um, in a different part of Oregon that opened up. It was like the first day. They were the only three people in the entire thing. So they got to go and see Hocus Pocus um, in the theater by themselves. They literally were the only people in the entire room which was pretty cool. So I'm glad they got to do that. Um, they met us back at the house after that was over, uh, hung out, watched some YouTube for like an hour or so. Um, then they went home and then Abby and I have just been talking about uh, store stuff and plans and stuff like that. Um, nothing that I really want to talk about just yet, um, but we will, you know, we'll show you and tell you as things happen. So nothing nothing bad. <laughs> it's all good stuff, stuff that needs to happen. Um, so I got to get this vlog edited. I'm afraid that the really long clip is not going to import. It was almost an hour long. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to edit this vlog before I go to sleep. Um, I should have started a long time ago. So I'm going to get to work here. Um, hopefully get this thing done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of really, really cool stuff today. And, uh, makes me excited. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.